As you can see, my cat, Mr. Samadhi, is off to a good start to his day. He loves playing fetch, and his new favorite toy is my blue hair tie. I call it his little blue tie tie. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's kind of silly, but he loves that thing, and he knows its name, and he knows it lives in the drawer in the bathroom. And he knows when I brush my hair, it can come out to play sometimes. And so that is what happened this morning. And he got his little blue tie tie and he got to go fetch it along the hallway in the longest part through our house. He loves it. He'll just run after that thing and he'll fetch it. He'll bring it back time after time after time. It's a really great way to get him worn out before we decide to go work in my studio. You can see here, I'm trying to set up some new camera angles and it's not quite working out. <laughs> I thought I would show you guys a little bit of that behind the scenes there because it was just funny. And of course, I'm loving on Mr. Samadhi before I get started started working. I'm going to be making a large lion print. I'm excited to see what it's going to look like because I've never seen this one printed out large. Waiting for the print to come out. I have to hold it when it gets cut off here because I don't have the basket set up underneath there. It's just too hard for me to dig it out from underneath there. So I don't print till the days. When it cuts it, I can just do this. It's fine. You gotta get into everything. <laughs> You're always into everything. You love Brad. <laughs> this is what I deal with constantly. <laughs> These are originals, so I hand sign each one. There you can see my signature in the print. Give you a closer look at it here. It kind of has a little bit of a shine to the paper because it's a luster finish. It makes the prints turn out really vibrant, but that's why you kind of see a little shine on it, just from my overhead light. But so many details. To give you an idea of how cool it is for me to see it large, when I make them, they're on the iPad, this small, right? And then when I print them out, this big is a whole lot bigger. <laughs> it's kind of hard to have it in the frame without it rolling up, but you see, it's really large. <laughs> I hope you all are having an awesome day today. I know I am. I love making things in my studio, even if I constantly have a cat underfoot. So honestly, I just, I love every minute of it. I, even if he's bugging me, I just love that he's always with me, keeping me company. So I spend a lot of time alone working. I think most artists do. You kind of have to if you're creating work and you're busy. I mean, sometimes you could be in a studio with other people, but I work from home, so I don't have you know, a lot of people around. And so it's wonderful to have a cat. He's, he's my best friend. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but as I'm doing this voiceover, Mr. Samadhi is sitting on my lap purring. So I hope you'll be able to hear it in the video. But anyway, I am taking apart the printer paper now because I have to store it each time after I use it. You can't leave it in the printer or it will make creases. Okay, so I just had to interrupt the vlog for a second to show you this. Mm, good boy. I have this frame down here and what I'm planning to do is put this piece in there. This one I had out at an art fair and it got rained on and so by accident and so the print inside there got all rippled up because obviously prints can't get wet. <laughs> They're not supposed to get wet. So I'm swapping it in with this one and I won't get it rained on this time hopefully. I love to frame art when the print exactly fits in there. You don't have to mat them. You don't have to do anything extra. And so that's what I always do with my large prints is I have the printer automatically cut them to the exact size. And so all I have to do is take apart the frame. I clean it off with a Swiffer just to make sure there's no dust inside. I put the print inside and I put the back back on there. Now, if you noticed when I was taking the back off, when I bent the little points down, the little black pieces, when I was bending them up, uh, one of them ripped off off and so I'm getting my point gun there and I'm adding a new point so that way the back will stay on there. 
Well, here it is all framed up. I love seeing my digital art printed this large and framed hanging up on the walls. I make them, like I said before, on the little iPad. So it's just so satisfying to be able to see all the details the way I meant them to be in real life, you know, printed out. So it's just awesome. I love this lion. It's so cool. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching my vlog today. I'll see you next time.